Hey friends, it's Patty with Get Present with Patty, and I promise to keep you updated on how I'm using the Live Rich Planner. This is my second Live Rich Planner from The Budget Mom. The first one I used um, exactly like it's meant to be used, like a life, full, you know, life planner. Full out, kind of do your thing in your Live Rich Planner, but... It's certainly a decision on how you use it, and um, if you know a little bit about my videos, I actually do use the Budget Mom paycheck method. Yes, I use that, but I use the Budget Mom box set for personal monies that I receive weekly. I use the workbook for my joint bills with my husband's money, and he's self-employed, so he gets paid every two weeks. So I use the, <clears throat> I do a direct deposit of some of my funds into the joint account, and we use the joint account strictly separate checking account for our joint bills. So I use the Budget Mom workbook for that, and then I also use PDF printables for the business side of things, which I really don't share any of that. So the Live Rich Planner, I really wanted to see, um, to repurpose it for using it to combine all expenses in one place. So I, if I wanted to just open this up and see what's due in the month of July, I could see bills as well as where we spend cash envelopes versus where we uh, spend from my personal account. So, so far so good. So this is the month of January, uh, July, excuse me, the month of July is where I am first started it. So I, of course, decorated it because why have a planner if you're not going to use beautiful stickers and decorate it? Um, to me, it looks a little busy, but I still like it because I'm, I'm really putting it out there, what I'm doing, and that was my whole focus anyways. So I got these um, build trackers from Kara Jo Plans, and she's on Etsy. I, I believe I watched one of her videos the other day. She has about 20 different colors. So I use, and then I have it, I have it written, like I have it really down here, what my little key is. So the yellow is what I spend in the personal account. Then the gray is when I use a cast envelope. The orange is unbudgeted, unbudgeted from the joint account if I debit from the joint account. The pink is going to be used for fixed uh, expenses out of my personal account. I think that's all I got for right now. And the green is the green is somewhere here. The green is fixed expenses out of the house account, joint account. So that's that's what I use. So I use these, you know, budget stickers. And then, um, so this will just show you like the first week. So from July 9th to July 8th, I'm actually going from really the week for me will be Friday to Thursday because I get paid on Friday. Um, that's So that's kind of going to be a week for me. But because July 1st was a Thursday, I did have some spending here. So as you can see, zoom that in a little bit for you. If you can see it, but I so I have two yellow stickers, which from my key tells me I spent it in uh, the my personal account. So I have, uh, boy, stickers. Yeah, okay, stickers. I bought some stickers. It was nineteen oh six, and then I I bought lunch, so that was fourteen dollars. And then uh, you know, um, you could see also that I did Friday the second, July second. I had my lunch. I usually do lunch once a week. So this was like an extra thing. And then Netflix is $8.99. So Netflix was pink and that's a fixed expense out of my personal account as well. So that's kind of how I'm doing it. Um, so then what I do here is I use the budget stickers to show when I spend money. So this weekend... Oh, I did some specialty grocery shopping of twenty five forty six for some peanut butter. It's called Butterscotch Peanut Butter from Kate May Peanut Butter Company dot com. It's delicious. If you love peanut butter, they have over different, you know, hundred and twenty five flavors. Okay. Um, it's really good peanut butter. Anyways, so then what I did on the second page here is I 
in the beginning of the month, I put a budget together of all our expenses, all our envelopes, variables, variables, variables what we're debiting for variable spending, um, sinking funds, all our debt, and then our projected and received income for the month down here as well. So this is like what we want to stay in. We want to not spend more than $250 in groceries for the month of July. For dining out, we don't want to spend more than $300. So then at the end of the month, I'll just update this, what we did actually spend. And this paper will also give me a good idea of how to prepare for August. That's why I'm doing it. So I put this just on an Excel spreadsheet on a piece of paper, cut it down to fit really good on this size, double-sided tape, works out great. Then over here, I do do a daily spending. If we do spend money daily, I have to go back and see. I know we spent money on Saturday and Sunday. And then I have it color-coded just so I know. Okay, and in the middle here, I just put a couple of stick stickers. My financial goal is extra money on my Amazon credit card. And then I'm going to put down, not really the action steps, but when I make the payments, I'll put them in here. So I did already make an extra payment of $50. My savings goal progress, I'm still using this as as it is, as it comes with, with the book. I have three savings goals in July. And then I still use these pages the same as they are. This is my personal planning. I will do my ideas for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then if I have to buy anything, um, I will do my calendar. I used this last year in the last book just as a catch-all for the week, and that's kind of what I do here with a couple of highlights of things that need to get done. I'm taking some college classes, so I put the red for, I have to do my college classes every day to get it done and, and feel not feel overwhelmed at the end. And then pink is for my YouTube video, so I make sure I get that done as well. So I, I am using th these two pages as they're meant to be in the planner, as you can see from this past week you know I like the stickers I like the numbers I just kind of add it of what I've done and it's a, a catch-all so I can look at it and say wow you know you did a lot or whatever so during the hourly so normally if you look at something going forward like these are the two pages that you get is hourly the weekly view by the hour and I did like that in the old, old book I'm just covering that up with I received, um, I think it's like a, just like eight and a half by 11, maybe a seven by nine. Um, this it's, um, from the happy planner. I bought it on off of Mercario for like eight bucks. And that way I can just cut, all you have to do is cut down maybe a quarter of this side of the page to fit. It fits perfectly in here. So the first week I just put it in like this with a couple of quotes Kind of nothing. I was going to put something in here, maybe like wins for the week, etc. Um, but then I just changed it up a little bit. So this is my weekly this week. This is my catch-all this week. And then on these two pages, I'm going to do the weekly check-in separately. So this is week two, 7-9 to 7-15. And um, I just put this here. Uh, I think this was from Sarah, Sarah Marie stickers. Um... So I put this page is just a blank page. I might just do some thoughts uh, of goals or something as I go along. If I think of something, I'll write down kind of thing. No, you know, no structure to it. But then I'm going to do the weekly check-in on this page. So again, I just, I use this page like this, turned it over to have a blank page. And then these are the things that I want to weekly check in at the end of this week. Um, so I have a rollover of $3 in my grocery. I add 60 and then I did spend $25 yesterday in groceries. So 63 minus 25. So that leaves me $38 for the week. And then I'll just next week when I do, no, like Friday, Saturday, when I do this again on the third the third week here, I will just put $38 as the rollover. I always put $60 in my grocery fund, so that'll give me already $98. And then I'm going to keep track of dine out. These are um, cash envelopes, uh, extra child care, 
household and then gas. These two are really, um, I debit, so, but I still am going to keep track of what I'm spending it. So I do like this format a little better than what I had started with was to put them all on kind of one page, but then I felt like I didn't have enough room for my income, etc. So even though I did do this for the first week, um, and I did write up, write out two, three, and four weeks, um, I'm really just going to put it on here. And then I might even do down below where I have the room is weekly check in for fixed expenses. Because I did, like week one, I did put it here, you know, what fixed was, but I kind of like that. Weekly check in, um, this is the over overview page of my sinking funds concentration. Kind of just re reminds me of what I'm saving for. But then on this page, I can do a weekly check in for fixed expenses. And it'll, it'll just look cleaner. I might just do a different color so I know it's fixed. And so that's how I've been using the Liveridge Planner as a, as a catch-all for both my joint and my personal expenses, especially when it comes to the calendar. I still keep the calendars for the budget. I'll just show you really quick if I have my July here. I thought I had it. Yep. So I still use the Budget Mom, you know, box set for my personal account. I know it, it so somebody might be watching and say, wow, that sounds like a lot of work. But you know what? I really enjoy it. I really enjoy budgeting. It's really become my hobby. So if I can spend, you know, 15 to an hour in the office and really putting this together and updating and checking what needs to get paid, this is my personal account and then I catch it all here on the main calendar then you know what then I like it and it works for me so that's my story with the leverage planner I hope you guys are using your leverage planner the way you see fit and if you have any ideas please share them with me I'd love to see them thanks